Yes, now YouTube, what is it? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have episode number two of the West Ham United FM career mode. So in this episode, we ideally need to sign a new goalkeeper, or we can run with the keeper that we have, or, you know, just try our best to sign someone else for the team. And um, we have Ipswich coming up, and then Brighton, and then Ipswich in the Carabao Cup. So we're going to go straight into the Ipswich Town game. Um, to be honest, I'll see you there at the Ipswich Town game, to be honest. that's that's We're just going to go straight into it. We are, we are at the day of the Ipswich Town game, but we have received an offer from Aston Villa for thir £30 million pounds for Jared Bowen. Now, I keep saying I want £60 million, but he does want to leave, and we kind of do need the money to bring in sort of a... Uh, goalkeeper so if we were to sort of uh, sell him and he does want to leave because Saudi Arabia fucking pissed him off and um, we are gonna have to sort of get rid of him for that um I'm kind of annoyed that we have to sell him or to is injured for three weeks for fuck's sake um I'm kind of annoyed that we do have to sell him but it's it's part of the game it's just annoying at this point but we do have it switch town away from home today we do want to win. We need to win. We've obviously got Tadebo out. Ward Prowse got a bit of a knock. And I believe who else that was, I don't know. Someone else got a knock. Um, so we're gonna have to just, you know, deal with that. Um, but the squad's looking nice. We're, we're not gonna risk Ward Prowse. I think we'll just uh put Sushek as a box to box. Quetta is a deep line playmaker. We won't risk Ward Prowse at all due to the fact that he is, you know, a crucial player. We are not going to play Kudus. We're going to play Somerville and Bowen. I do like that. I like the defense. Yep. Wing back on attack. Yep. 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 Now the defense is nice. But ball in the midfielder, we've got Rodriguez. So. so it's a nice back line here. Uh, full Krug, of course. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll rock that team. Why Son of Somerville is. Is Somerville better on the right or the left? The right. Okay, Jared Bowen will play on the left. Yeah, Jared Bowen will play on the left then and we'll play Somerville on the right. Let's try and get three points here away from home against Ipswich. It shouldn't be hard, but it, then again, it is the Premier League. Anything, anything can happen. And that is not what we wanted to see. Aaron Wambasaka is now injured. Having to force him to bring him off. So he's probably going to be out for a couple of months there. That's not great. Fuck. I really didn't want an injury. So we go into halftime, nil-nil. Not the fir greatest first half, to be honest. We have had some chances, but we've not been clinical enough. So we are going to just change the tempo to a more higher tempo. Um, Do I want to make any other changes? Probably Kudus. We'll bring Kudus on for some creativity. Is Kudus better at Cam? He's better as a shadow striker. So what I'll do is I'll do that. And uh, we'll bring him in. And we'll put Bowen on support just in case. Oh, uh, yeah, that that's fine. And then um, let's hope we can, uh, you know, get a goal. <coughs> Corner here for Ipswich. Whipped in. Burns has cleared away. Jared Bowen's now on the attack. Jared Bowen. It's a pretty shit highlight. Don't cut, don't include that. Here we go, full crook into Kudus. What can Mohamed Kudus do? Can he get it into full crook? Kudus tackled, gets it in, but I'm not sure where that ball was going. And Johnson basically clears it away. Jared Bowen now on the ball, get it into full crook. Get it into full crook. Sushek. Paqueta! That's a beautiful goal. What a strike that is for Lucas Paqueta. Such a good goal. Sushek lays it into Paqueta, and Paqueta just first time hits it. Murish doesn't know what to do, and we are 1-0 up. Beautiful. Going to make some changes here. We are going to bring on sort of 
the late late changes because I just realised that we are quite a bit into the game and uh, yeah we kind of have forgot. Uh, we'll just bring it on dead itch. Oh no, we can't make any more subs. That's fine. But yeah, eighty third minute we've brought about four or five subs. So hopefully, I want a second just before full time. But if we can make it, if we win one 0 it's fine. We got six minutes at a time, and that. Is going to be pretty much all she wrote, I believe. Hopefully, we don't concede, but I believe that's going to be the game. Emerson has got, you know, a bit of something about him. Antonio to Kufal. Maybe we can get a second before full time. Hold on. Kufal gets it into corner. Oh, that's a good save by Murich. Antonio and Emerson. Lucas Paqueta. Wow, oh, I was expecting Bequeta to just blast that top pins. But we do win 1 0. We do get an injury to Aaron Wambasaka, which is annoying. I'm hoping he's not out for long, but we will we will see. <laughs> okay. Could be better. Three weeks at Aaron Wambasaka. Not the best. Um I do need to look at so, so we've done our scouting for a couple of players. Um I won't give much away, but we are looking at sort of you know, sort of new players. Um, but we are going to go sim to the Brighton game. And uh, we'll be right back once we hit that Brighton game. So we get a new offer here from Aston Villa for Jared Bowen again. It's not fucking matching what I want. So £47.5 million pounds is what I'd want. If it says he'd rather go to Liverpool... We can just say, look, forty-seven and a half million pounds. If we can get forty-seven and a half, that's great. Um, because I just need him gone. If he does want to leave, then sort of, I need him gone. They've made an offer for fucking yeah, whatever. Liverpool have come in for thirty-three point five million pounds, but in instalments. I want the fifty million up front. I don't want it in instalments. I need it up front. Otherwise, it's useless. We will literally offer it out to Liverpool because I know he wants to join Liverpool. He did want to join uh, sort of Al Hitiad, and we might include them as well. Just in actually, we will include them. Al just as well, just to stir up some uh, some drama with Saudi Arabia. You know, force trying to force. We have Brighton tomorrow, and uh, we are away from home again. We've only had one home game this season. That was against Liverpool. And we've got another one coming up against Wolves after the uh, Garibo Cup against Ipswich. We will rotate against them. <coughs> Just to, um, you know, give us a different uh, sort of options for the game after against uh, Wolves. Uh, right, so we are against Brighton. Obviously, we haven't got one sack for this game. So we are going to have to uh, work around that. I'm happy with that lineup in terms of the way it is. So we're just going to run it. Kufal and uh, Zuma have not had much sharpness, but I can't really do anything about that because injuries and stuff. So James Ward Prass returns back to the squad after um, sort of a minor knock, and I just didn't want to risk him. So he returns back. But yeah, let's hope we can get the win now against Brian. Corner in by Ward Prowse into Zuma, but it's away. Lucas Paqueta, go back if you need. Zuma on the ball into a guard, into Emerson. Emerson just thrives down this left hand side. Is he going to get it in? He does, and it's saved by Jason Steele. That's going to be a corner to West Ham. JWP to whip the ball in. It's going to be in. Full Krog, and it's cleared away. Another corner here. Three corners back to back. James Will Prowse to whip it in again. Cleared away. Keeper catches it, sorry. So it looks like we're gonna go into half time, nil nil, and we are sorry. Um so it's interesting. Um nonetheless, we haven't been the best this game, as you can see. Um but it's been an even sort of first last twenty minutes of the game. So uh let's hope we can uh surprise it. Rodriguez here on the ball. Into Kudos, into full Krug. Paqueta. Now the substitutions will be made for us. Here we go. Somerville to take the corner. Whips it in. Zuma. Paqueta is available now. Into Kudos. 
Kudis is that onside though? It is onside. We are one 0 up against Brian of Albion. What a what a fucking change that was. That was from the changes that we made. We we instantly got a goal and um beautiful. Beautiful. Didn't think it was onside from the start, but we are one 0 up. Let's fucking get a second. For here come Brighton Veltman into Modder, who takes a shot on straight away. That's very stupid. But we uh, get lucky there and we're away with it, so it's fine. Two minutes left. Four minutes of added time left now. What is it going to be? Are we going to hang on? I hope we do. And we do another win. Three wins on the trot. West Ham United here. Great first three games we've had. We've had quite a bit of uh, opportunities in the past couple of games, and now we are slowly moving through the table. Slowly getting there. We've got a game against Ipswich Town in the Carabao Cup, so we'll rotate for that. We are top of the league here. Probably not for long. Oh, no, Man City did draw. So we are fine. We are top of the league for this week as we head into the Garibo Cup. So, uh, yeah, we've um, top of the league, up the hammers, you never know. We might eventually win the league. Now, let's try and hope we can get a deadline offer for... Um, let's try and hope we can get a deadline offer for Jared Bowen so we can uh, potentially look at, you know, getting some money for him because I'd imagine it would probably be deadline before we actually get any sort of offers for him and it'll probably be the last couple of hours which will be an issue but as long as we can get some players in to replace him and you know get that um you know get the money um that we want for him then i shouldn't see a problem with us having him and uh we have a game against it's it's town which i'm gonna rotate quite a lot against now adam irvin i'm happy with that actually let's drop him in and let's drop him in and we'll make that sort of a two striker let's hope we win here. Um, if we lose, we lose. It's sort of we do kind of want to go further in the cup this year than we have previously. But let's see. We win on penalties, ten nine. Fucking hell! Damn, that was close. So in the next round of the Carabao Cup, we have Leeds United. We all hate Leeds, so let's hope we fucking batter him, the dirty Leeds scums. But it is deadline day. This would be nice if we can uh, potentially get Bowen off for, you know, quite a bit of money. You know, probably the 50 mil sort of thing. But um, let's hope. Let's see. And, uh, yeah, we'll just change that back just so it doesn't sort of affect the, uh, the, the league. But, yeah, let's hope we can get good money for Jared Bowen if we receive an offer. Let's have him. And look at that. Manager of the month. We beat Liverpool, we beat Ipswich, and we beat Brighton. Not my managers. Cheating scum and a shit manager right there. But it looks like Jared Bowen will be staying here at West Ham United. We probably will get an offer last minute for him, but it's too late at that point. I won't be accepting it until at least January. Um, let's see sort of what we can do with sort of a squad. I think, I think the squad's fine for now. In terms of registration, so we'll confirm that. I've just realised I paused the recording and we had literally just played Wolves. Fuck's sake. You didn't miss anything. Nil-nil. Nothing really I can say to that. Um, Nil-nil, we created a bit of few chances here and there. We had a goal that was disallowed. Uh, Jared Bowen was given an offside. Um, Mamasaka returned after injury. We sort of played sort of a more expansive football. We played Libero for Thomas Suchek and centre back to push the sort of get more midfielders in because they they have a really good solid midfield in four versus the three. Um, so sort of bringing in that Libero sort of helped us. Uh, we had Dedic on an invert fullback to you know make up the numbers in the midfield while the defence. So then uh, when Suchek stepped forward, we had someone else covering just to have a back two for then. Um, I'm speaking like I'm Pep Guardiola. I know nothing about tactics. I'm going to be real. But you didn't really miss anything. Uh, next episode, we have Chelsea. 
which is going to be a tough game, as um, we all know, Chelsea uh, spend quite a bit of money. But yeah, you didn't really miss anything in terms of sort of the game. It's a pretty boring game. Um, yeah, we have Chelsea, Tottenham, Leeds, Man United, and Newcastle for the next game. Um, I really am pissed off that I paused the recording and then just forgot to fucking unpause it. But yeah, it happens. Um, so we've got, what, five games for you next game? Um, I only did three because it's sort of... The first two episodes are going to be sort of to sort of get going with the season. We are in September, so we've assumed a month in total. Um, but yeah, obviously, by episode five or four, or even episode three or four, I want to be in January, you know, and then uh, episode eight sort of end the season, you know. Um, but yeah, um, that is going to be me for this video. If you guys do enjoy, please do leave a like, all that good stuff. Uh, it does mean the world. Um, but yeah, I am out. Take care and peace.